Well, welcome back to Life the Wild Ride. Today, what? Nothing. It's like you looked at me like I was going to talk. Yeah, that's not happening. No. Uh, today, actually in front of us, we're going to work on the claws a little bit. and We're going to show you something we picked up at the Reclaim store or the Habitat for Humanity store. Uh, which we got a bunch of stuff during our downsizing we're going to take and donate down there as well as we've been keeping an eye out down there for things that we can use on the bus so it's kind of a win-win so let me just turn around and show you here what we're working on and uh maybe we can show you some of the progress well basically earlier i think if i just back up and kind of get an overview in another video saw the closet area um, we are going to start actually working on putting the interior walls on it now it's kind of early to do that because we have so many other things we can do on the bus but we really don't feel like working on anything else there's nothing else that's going to be happening in the closet here except for 12 volt lighting up here which we're always going to have access to run wires in here so we're just going to put around with um you know starting to put this the walls in closing that in the windows will stay and uh putting walls on the inside and just kind of working our way around so let's go take a look see what we picked up at the store all right so this is what we we found three boxes of cedar closet um, wall wood brand new they were 10 bucks a piece which i went on and looked i couldn't find the exact thing um i didn't look that hard i knew it was a pretty good deal because even something with less square footage in here was 12 to 15 dollars totally happy to have found this and we're going to use this for the interior of the closet Get well, so we got this back section done. I'd love to say that I planned this out, but I gotta be honest, I did not. But I got one, two, three, four, five in here for the back. With Tracy's help. The top one landed just perfect. So all I gotta do is put the trim piece up here like I wanted to. I don't even have to rip one down. I thought I'd have to put one more on and rip it down, but that's perfect. So sometimes you just get lucky, even when you don't take the time to make those extra measurements. The amazing part is I don't have to rip one down. So that's gonna be great. But yeah, it's looking good. Well, good morning. It's a chilly morning here in Maine, early October 2018, and it's been a few days since uh, we were working on the closet here, and I'm hoping to finish it up today. What I did just do is I had this scrap from something else, so hopefully you can see that. And it's um, it's not um, cedar, but the color matches. So I'm going to use that to cap this right here, so that'll look nice. And what I'm working on right now is putting the uh, a board on here that'll get screwed in then there'll be hopefully have enough cedar to go over it which is going to create the little pocket here because the other cedar will go behind and wrap up and then that pocket will be the channel that runs the whole length of the bus just this will be the, the closet section of it for any future wires or wire i need to get up into the closet here for, for lighting and things like that so that's kind of what i'm working on right at the moment all right i just got to show you something here really quick i'm not done yet but I'm very close and I just want to show you how lucky I was. Now, just me step back for a second. We built this closet enclosure solely based on the uh, wheel well and just, you know, closing in and making it as small as we can. We didn't want to take up any room in the bedroom or out in the living area. So I built it based on just clearing the wheel well and had the structure all up. And then we found those three boxes of cedar and I am almost done. I have this one full piece here, which is going to go up on the back. That'll finish the back. And then I have one more full piece, which will go up. Hopefully you can see it's kind of dark here, but if I use this piece as an example, it'll go up here. 
once everything's all done. And that finishes around the top of the door. All I have left after that is a bunch of nine and 10 inch piece scraps. And I think I have enough to actually go down the sides. Now I wasn't gonna worry about it because I figure if you enter the closet this way, Nobody goes in and looks back like this and say, oh, you didn't use all cedar. And I could have used some redwood in there to cover it up. But I, I really think I'm going to have enough to do both sides of this area as well. So the entire closet will be cedar except for the windows and, of course, the floor. Um, I'm shocked. I'm very excited because the thing is I didn't. I mean, we took our time obviously measuring. But I still didn't think I was going to have enough to finish it. I really didn't think I was going to have enough for, you know, like I said, the area of these walls, you know, the, these little short walls here. But let me go ahead and get a bunch cut and see where we end up. Let me just show you, uh, literally, this is what I have left. This is the one long uh, last piece I'll use for either the back or, you know, up on top of the door opening. I have this triangular piece from cutting an angle on the side walls. These little scrap pieces from doing, uh, you know, to fine tuning it. And these cutoffs here from back in the in the ceiling that was left over. And I believe there are 16 of them. They're, the shortest one is a little over eight inches. The wall on each side of the door is only four and a half inches. Actually, I think these are nine inches, the shortest one. So cut if I cut all these at four and a half inches, there'll be 32 of them, 16 for each side. And as long as I make no mistakes, all I will have left is this little bit of scrap here and one little piece off this. No other waste. I'm super excited. Let's get this done and see what it looks like. All right, well, closet is, is done. I mean, essentially, obviously there's no hanger. I do have a hanger there I picked up. Just some very basic uh, dowel hanger. Um, but the main thing I want to show you, and I know this video is kind of dark, I should get a light, but um, maybe I can turn the light on the camera. All right, so uh, I couldn't have planned this if I, if, if I measured it all out and went to Home Depot and bought this, I don't think I could have planned it this well. The entire inside of the closet, aside from the windows, is completely done with cedar. I'll even climb in here so you can look back at the area I was talking about that may not be have enough to get cedar. And here it is, all done with cedar. It was three boxes across here, all down the side and both sides, completely done. The only thing that's not obviously is the floor, but we're going to do something different with the floor anyways. Let me just show you what the scraps were left over um, in just a second. I do want to point out one thing here. Sorry for that, the shadowing. This last board here, I got one nail in it right here because it's going to be... Uh, I want to be able to put this board on and take it off as needed, probably with Velcro or something, because behind it is where the wire chase is going to be and where we'll, you know, be able to go from the front or to the back of the bus and continue wires right through here. I need to have access to that. So I just have one nail in it, but I am just so thrilled that this was completely finished with just those three boxes I picked up at the Reclaim store, which is just just fantastic. Now this is what was left. Now I take it back. There's one piece on the bus. It's a it looks like this one here, but it's like this long. That's it, like five inch long piece. This 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 is it. There is no other piece of cedar left over anywhere. So super happy. All right. Well, anyway, I'm sitting in the closet here. It's finished up. Uh, thanks for sticking around to watch this whole video. This happened over the course of a week, really. And Tracy and I started out together on it but she's working today i wanted to get it finished up the only thing that's not finished is the trim around the sides and, and uh you know a couple of the little things but essentially it's done we'll have a rod on half of it and shelving on the other half once it's all done as far as that goes uh hopefully you like this part of it and uh, you know it's just a good testament to going and looking for you know inexpensive material other than just a regular big box store so take a look around your community you might be able to find something that helps you out and somebody else as well put it to good use. Well, anyway, thanks for swinging by Life to Wild Ride. And remember, we post bus videos every Monday and sometimes we have other videos in between. Don't forget to click on that like button down there. Hit subscribe, please. And definitely take a minute just to hit the share button. You know, it helps us out a lot. Uh, we're still trying to grow this channel to help us hit the road full time. And it's very small at the moment, but we, you know, we get a, I don't know, at least 60 or so 
views on every video so that's 60 people roughly if everybody hit like that would be super fantastic if you like the video or if you don't like hit don't like at least uh, you know interact with the video uh, we would super appreciate it either way also put some comments down there if you want anything like that also super super helpful we're happy to get back to you on any of those things i'll put some links in the description of some things i might have used in the making of this video or any other video I might have made. And if you happen to click on those through Amazon and purchase something, that also helps us out as well. And it's no additional cost to you. So that's another great way to support us. And if you're going to be buying stuff anyways, you know, it's a win-win for everybody. Uh, thanks for swinging by Life to Wild Ride. Have a great day.